Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. It's always fun getting something in the mail. Um, this was a bit of an impulse buy. Um, <clears throat> you guys have seen our recent videos on the uh, on the ECX Ruckus. Uh, we decided to get its uh, its little sibling, an ECX amp. So. Uh, ended up getting this one on eBay. Just came in the mail today. Noticed a little bit of a dent in the box here. Hopefully everything's okay. Uh, just gonna go ahead and cut the box open. So the ruckuses that we have, um, we got those locally off of Craigslist. Uh, you know, bottom used. Um, you know, you definitely, and let's see what we've got here. So it looks like it's upside down. Plenty of bubble wrap here, which is always nice. Looks like the shipper, the seller did a good, pretty good job of packaging this here. All right. So I'm just gonna pull this out sideways. Oh, okay, you took off one of the wheels. So it would probably fit in the box better that way. And that's in this bag over here. Um, I'll go ahead and grab this out too. Looks like that's a charger. And, all right, so I'm just gonna throw this box into the garage here, make some room. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. It is an ECX amp. Look at that. Looks like the body's in pretty good shape here. In this bag, we've got a charger. All right, let's do an inspection of everything. Always a good idea to inspect everything that you get on eBay right when you get it so this is a charger looks like it's a slow uh two amp wall charger all right can always pass this along uh, and over here we've got that other wheel so i've only bought one other rc uh, car off of eBay, and that was uh, one of our uh, ruckuses. Oh, it looks like the hex there is in the wheel. Hopefully the other side of that hex is still intact here. Alrighty, so the body looks like it's in pretty decent shape here. I'm um, just going to go ahead and take off these body pins. Again, it was kind of smells like celery for some reason, which is funny. Um, better than the uh, the the uh, ruckus or torment that we got. It smelled like smoke, so um, something to be aware of when buying um, RC sight unseen. A little reinforcement of the body here with shoe goo and, and drywall tape, so that's nice. The body looks like it's in good shape here. All right, just doing a quick once over, you know, a couple, couple scratches and whatnot, but other than that, it looks like it's in good shape. Uh, we've actually got our um, a ruckus back here, a, a chassis, just wanted to do a side-by-side -side of these two. Um, once we got them out, but I'm just going to put the body here so you can see yeah, it is, it's a little bit shorter. Um, all right, so we've got a nickel metal hydride pack, it looks like in here. So the, um, a little, a little scratched up, but that's okay. This is just an 1800 mil. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Looks like some white residual. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if there was a, a heat uh, accident there or something, but um, interesting. You know, there seems to be this white. Hmm. Well, we're not going to use this one anyways, probably. It's only 800 milliamp hours. But um, another one we could pass along to somebody else if they so need it. So the chassis has got, got a little mud build up here. Um, hopefully this motor and, and whatnot still works. Uh, it is a waterproof setup that, that comes in these. Oh, what's this? Looks like uh, there's some 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 goop on here. Uh, probably the uh, the previous owner uh, tried to waterproof the servo. Um, so let's feel the shocks. Oh, the shock still still has some fluid in there, which is nice. Uh, these ECX shocks are a little bit notorious for not having the best in in uh, in shock seals. Um, so it's good to know that there's still some fluid left in here. Um, looks like this is a, a, a little bit of a different color here. Um, uh, you know, you could tell the difference in, in color from this and this. Uh, so usually that's an indication of perhaps, a, a you know, a grease leak or whatnot. Uh, we'll go ahead and check that out. Um, Seems like it's in, in pretty decent shape here besides, you know, just a little bit of mud. Uh, we did probably lose that axle pin uh, in, in shipping there. That's that's probably why there was that hole in the, um, in the, uh, in the box there. Hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not in there. Well... We'll probably have to dig out an ax axle pin. We probably got an extra one of those. Um, one thing to note is that these tires are not filled with foam. They are empty, uh, which you know, which is um, probably not ideal. Uh, the, the the tires on the Ruckus are filled with foams, um, but uh, not you know not overcomable. Definitely keeps the price point on uh, the, the ECX amp low. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, so actually I didn't even, um, when the, the, the seller posted this, I don't think they even mentioned that it would come with a, a speed control. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's kind of a nice little bonus there. Um, getting this all-in-one integrated unit. We'll see what we can do with it. Um... I don't think I'm seeing that drive pin anywhere, but not again, not a huge deal. Overall, this looks like it's in in decent shape. Uh, we'll probably just charge up a battery and and uh, see if we can bind uh, one of our spectrum uh, transmitters to this and test it out. Um, you know, not not a bad find here. Even looking at the tires, uh, they don't have much wear on them. I don't know how quickly these wear out, but they have decent tread left on them, which is good. Uh, really, really excited about this, yeah. Um, so just comparing it uh, to the Ruckus, maybe we'll we'll save that for the next episode here since this, this uh, episode is getting a little bit too long, but uh, you can see this side by side here. We'll, we'll go more in depth in the, the next episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think of this, and we will catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.